Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for another weekly Payday 3 Dev Blog Breakdown and we've got a interesting topic today even if it's a little bit of a short one because I can pretty much fit the entire Dev Blog on this screen before we even begin. It is a small insight into the next update for Payday 3 which is coming at the end of November or before the end of November it actually says. So they're just talking a little bit about some of the issues that have arisen from the last update that came out at the end of October with the new UI, server browser, VoIP and so on. As always if you are new to this channel or you keep finding yourself coming back please do click that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it and it's my first chance to properly say it. Thank you all so very much for 40,000 subscribers. It's a huge milestone and I'm eternally grateful for the amount of support you guys show me. It really means the world to me and I'm very grateful. Also, one other small thing and I want you to let me know in the comment section below. One of the members of my Discord community actually created a highlight reel, basically like a, a funny moments edit down of the stream from this update where I basically had about three Joker moments and a mental breakdown at the game not working. It's actually pretty funny and I haven't really done live stream edited content before but I think this could be worth uploading. So if you'd like to see that video, it's like I think about 20 minutes long, let me know and I might well publish it early next week because I do think it's quite funny and I wouldn't mind sharing it. And if you like it, maybe we'll do more of them in the future whenever there's an update that comes out, you know, updates in a nutshell or something. So do let me know. If you want to see that, leave a comment. I may well drop it early next week. But either way, let's talk about the blog. As I've said, they've not acknowledged every issue, but they've brought up a couple of them. They've said they're basically looking at resolving a few things in the short term as a result of the issues that arose with the update. First off, VoIP will be set off by default. I mean, it's a good short term fix to the fact that there's no push to talk, which is the biggest issue with VoIP. You know, you have that cross platform voice chat, but it's set to be on automatically. You can't choose your audio device, I don't think, even though the audio quality is pretty damn good. But you can't choose your device and you also can't turn on push to talk, which means that if you've got a mic plugged in and VoIP is on, Everything that's happening in the background is going through on the mic. Whether you're watching a YouTube video, whether you're loudly eating a bag of crisps, whatever it might be, your other teammates are hearing all of it. So they're going to turn it off by default. And if you want it on, you have to switch it on yourself. But if you have already turned it off prior to the update coming out, it will just stay off. Makes sense. There is also a, a change where they're adding more descriptive error messages for when he tries to join a full lobby. So it won't look like there's an error when there isn't. So basically being a bit more clear about you joining a full lobby. Part of that's just down to some of the server browser issues, like them showing full lobbies and then not being able to refresh the page unless you restart the game. Not ideal. But there is a big issue they've acknowledged. There's one big one they haven't, which I'll get to in a minute. And it's the reason I'm not playing the game at the minute. And I meant what I said. I've said this on socials. I'm not playing Payday 3 till it's fixed, but we'll get there in a minute. There is a tricky issue on Xbox causing very long load times. And we're doing two things on that topic. First off, they have temporarily re enabled the quick fix some players were using to alleviate the loading time bug. You can now manually uncheck your DLCs, which may help reduce the load times for some players. So if you're on Xbox and you don't know, or you want a bit of a recap, Xbox load times are astronomically longer than PS5 and PC. It takes three to four to five minutes to turn the game on sometimes. And even leaving heist can take several minutes when you finish in like a result screen. And there was a fix that was working where if you uninstalled all your DLCs in the manage games and apps section on Xbox, it would then basically make the game load a lot faster, which was quite a handy quick fix. It was nice to have that option. Unfortunately, in the last update, Starbreeze went, hey, we've turned this off, but then didn't fix the problem that people had that led to them doing this in the first place. Again, it's that typical Starbreeze structure they had, especially towards the start of the game's life, where they were like, we're going to get rid of this thing here, but not add the thing that makes it better until it lays down the line. And I'm glad they're going to revert that because it's not a good way to do things. And especially for the Xbox players, it's extremely irritating to have to wait that long to load games up. It's just, it's not nice. It's not nice at all. You could literally speed run Rock the Cradle on PC fast and you could log in on Xbox. It's ridiculous. They're also adding telemetry to help us track down the issue and resolve the problem. So if you're experiencing the issue, consider turning telemetry on, even if temporarily. It's basically their way of monitoring stats like what are the most popular guns, popular heists, that kind of thing. I know some people have some little itches and gripes with it about days of privacy, and if you're one of those people, totally fair. It's up to you. But if you're happy to have telemetry on, then switch it on and then you can hopefully help them figure out what's causing the issue and get to the bottom of it faster. Now it does say that the items mentioned above will be out in an update coming before the end of November but the remaining issues, one big one we'll get to in a minute, are being worked on for a later update. Now I was slightly confused in the wording here and I've shared it with Starbreeze, they may well change it but maybe it's just me not reading things correctly but I just felt like there was a difference in tense here so if you're reading this point here saying we've temporarily re-enabled the quick fix, that doesn't mean right now, that means they have temporarily turned it on for the hot fix because this one says we're adding telemetry so they will do it for the update but this one sounded like they had done it so just in case you've read it like me and you're thinking that the quick fix is live now it's not. You're still going to have the load times that are being really long on Xbox until this update drops. So if there's any clarification there that I certainly needed, maybe that's just me, but if you were thinking the same thing, that is the clarification. The quick fix is not live now. It'd be live with the rest of this stuff at the end of the month in this update. Now, obviously what this doesn't talk about is one of the bigger issues, which granted not everyone's experiencing, but there is a huge issue with Payday 3 right now, where if you have too many friends added on Nebula, there is intense 
stuttering in the game, in the menus, in the heists, in literally everything. And it genuinely makes the game unplayable. That's what that live stream is all about. That highlight reel someone's edited for me. It's me trying to play the game on all three major platforms and finding the same issue on all of them. It's the saddest thing with a lot of these payday three updates at the minute. They add good stuff, but there are bugs and issues and things and small errors that just shouldn't be there. Some of them you can't predict. I'm not entirely sure how Starbreeze could have caught that stuttering issue. It's fair, but it doesn't make it any easier to find out that it's not even in this blog post or something coming at the end of the month. That means we could have this problem going into December. And I have said I'm not playing the game until it's updated, and I genuinely mean that. It genuinely makes me feel nauseous playing a game that's stuttering as much as it is. And I'm not about to start nuking my friends list before anyone asks me that, because that has been said to me a few times, that if you clear your friends list, then you can get into the game without it stuttering. I have another bug, which I don't know if it's more unique to me. I've not seen many people say it, but everyone in my friends list is marked as no name. So I've no idea who it is, and I'm not about to start taking blind pot shots at my friend list to fix an issue. I will just play other games. And I know that sounds bad as someone who's making content on Payday 3, but if an update comes out with like a, with new content, like the heist, the classic heist they're talking about, then sure, maybe I'll have to do something then. But I'm not even considering it until that point comes because I, I just don't think it's worth it. So I hope they acknowledge that soon. I am glad this blog exists because there are issues they needed to acknowledge and I'm glad they've said some of them. I mean, they've not said about adding a push to talk. They've not talked about the stuttering issue and they've not said they're going to fix the Xbox issue properly anytime soon, but at least it's something and I'm happy with something as opposed to nothing. It's better to have this than a week of silence or a post that just says, soundtrack's out, go listen to that, you know, which is cool. But, you know, I like the news blogs having something to actually talk about. And that's why I'm here. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's everything I've got to say about this week's dev blog. If you've got any comments on it, let me know down below. Again, let me know if you'd like to see that live stream edit from the chaos of the launch day for this update. I think it was quite a funny one. But I'd be intrigued to see what your response would all be as well. But either way, thank you all for watching. I will see you all very soon with some new content. Look after yourselves, stay safe, and I will see you all in the next one.